Welcome and thank you for joining us on episode 7 of the Payday Crimecast. On today's show, we're going to be discussing and speculating on Infamy 2.0, as well as Overkill's Overkill Pack Damage Control for the Hype Train, the rumored Payday 2 map editor confirmed, and more music news from Simon Bickland. And because we only have a few topics today, we're going to try and keep this short and sweet, which is very fitting with Valentine's Day, which it already is for many of you. I'm Edward, as usual, and I'm here with the rest of the crew today. We well, have Lockie from Australia, as usual. He is Australia. That is true. <laughs> and it is and Valentine's course, Day. Uh, it already is Valentine's yep. Day. You're one of the special sure ones. Tom and, of course, we have Lewis. Hey, brilliant joke you snuck in there at the beginning, Edward, but uh, you uh, you didn't say Infamy right, because here uh, we have it written as Infamy 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. Well, it's that's... like the uh, riff that plays Infamy 2.0. Infamy I can't 2.0. do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sick. I don't know why it became Man, a I haven't heard that sound AC. clip in a long time. I, should I know. Really get back well, they have it all up to, like, 14, <laughs> so... <laughs> Imagine how awkward that's going to be for the guy who has to sing that, because we're going, Infamy! The well, 14! They've got to do it, like, really... Maybe it'll be that. like Resident Evil, you know, where they just don't say the number anymore. Just Resident Evil, not 16. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But so. as you as you guys already know, we're, unfortunately, short one man. So Remy, our resident meta gameplay meme guy, is absent <laughs> again this week. Jeez. Again. And I think we know Lots. the reason for his absence. Yeah. It's quote, unquote, well, this is a quote coming right from him, fuck Comcast, <laughs> end quote. Sure Anyways, let's get right into it. We'll start with the biggest news uh, first, yeah. right? Great so, topics. however, I'd say that would be Remy has some opinions and he has sent them in, so. Yes, he sent them over his magic mobile connection to Arlaki. And uh, at my request, uh, we're going to have Louis do his best French accent to read Remy's Yep. Uh, that's the damn bedtime story. Opinions on all of these things. It's going to be like he's actually here, so don't worry, all you. That's your bedtime story. There. That's your bedtime story. Yes, yes, yes. Enjoy. All right. So, what do we got first? Infamy 2.0 seems to be the uh, the most predominant one. All right. Oh, yeah. So they delayed the hype train XP boost until the release of the new Infamy system. Quote unquote which, system. Yes. Yes, that's right. what they said. Now, okay. I believe maybe that got lost in translation. I don't know. Because they're really good with their English, but I don't know. Maybe they, uh, maybe they messed up that? I, uh, maybe. Or maybe it is the new, you know, possible rework of Infamy. It's up to debate. Uh, well, what was the direct quote exactly? Well, well we, we have, have it down here. here. Um, yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, here. Um, hang on, it's wait. Well, I think we got a partial part of the quote, which says, I can't do an Almir impression, oh, yes, but just uh, delayed Hype Train XP boosts until no, they release I, I, uh, the new Infamy system. I found it. Um, it's like a question. Where's the 10% XP boost from the first two Hype Train destinations? Because that really is the most important thing out exactly, of all this yeah. stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do an Almir. Based on community feedback from our veteran players, we decided to move the XP boost. <laughs> Why? Oh, I, can, I can only see the t- uh, so accent right. time face when I see that you gather by reaching the destinations until the release of the new Infamy system. We've updated the text on the Hype Train event site to uh, reflect this. This means that both those who already are V100 as well as those who aim to get there can enjoy the reward. With this change, everyone can enjoy gaining more experience with the release of Infamy 2.0. I don't think we can let Almir on our I, podcast at yeah. this point. <laughs> you yep, got him right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yep. Almir. Uh, those... No problem. Those uh, restraining orders are going out as we speak. Death threats, you mean. Not death threats. It's actually going to happen. Okay, so, um... But, yeah. Yes, he said system. He deliberately wrote system. Yes, so... So it almost sounds like a rework. I don't... uh, Like, just the way that you look at the Infamy system right now, like, if you look at the page that they have for Infamy in the game, it looks pretty daunting. I mean, you need to obviously get to the first four... Infamy levels before you can climb to the next one. Uh, I was kind of yeah. hoping that instead of just climbing up the system and pretend you guys haven't heard this before, but I was hoping that they would have different trees to you know specialize into, kind of like the oh, skill yeah. trees. Yeah, and I thought that might be Only a little thing interesting that is, to do instead of having to just linearly go up. Yeah, 
Only you thing with that, I'm though, is oh, giving sorry. gameplay bonuses to that. Uh, I don't know. I I almost wanted to work backwards, like we spoke about previously. I want ah. maybe the XP to be reduced every time you go in for me. I mean, you've proven you can do it. Why don't you have do this extra slower. challenge? That's do it an slower. Interesting, that's an interesting angle. I've never well, I mean, that. I don't know if the XP would really be a, a challenge, but maybe you would be handicapped in some way. I thought that might be interesting. Yeah. No, but see, here's the thing. Like, these are good ideas. This is just relating to something different that's kind of related to this. I'm scared that the day this releases and it isn't what the community is looking for, like, it isn't, if it isn't, new infamy levels, like uh, infamy 6 through 12 or 10 or whatever, that we're just not going to hear the end of it. And I, uh, that's just one thing I'm scared of. Just like, uh, overkill, you're last down again. Uh, just, uh. Well, they haven't well, actually said that sure. new, like how many new levels are coming, and exactly if there are new levels, hmm. because it says there's well, going to be a rework of the system. That, that I mean, uh, yeah, I think it might of be course important. it will, but it's not said. Well, I think it might be important to kind of look at what interests people about the infamy system, because obviously it's for the people who continue to play the game despite. Yeah any repetitiveness, and they keep one. well, I think first and foremost, people keep wanting to see that circle spin around and that number of their level going up. Why? But are they looking for rewards? Are they looking for a challenge? Because I think Payday, as great as the game is, I think it's one of its weaknesses is that the gameplay is very repetitive, and despite going infamy again, it doesn't really add too much new challenge to the game, even though you are reduced in level, but you earn that back just so quickly. Like, you don't... Uh, you, you don't... You're not handicapped enough to really dissuade you from wanting to go infamous, is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, well... And then you just buy heaps of uh, Thanatoses and... Oh, I'm back to <laughs> maybe, maybe they could make something like a dynamic um, weapon leveling system, because you really start to forget that weapons are uh, restricted to certain levels. Maybe they could dynamically change that. So every time you go in for me, those great weapons are just, you know, an, an inch further away to use the Imperial system. Yeah. Okay, probably a couple more inches away. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't you just go right back to the M16 uh, right away, because, well, you just, just think about it. Everything gets really easy after you get those great weapons again. Yep. Well, yeah, like, the the first, like, 40, 50 levels are, you know, an hour or... hour, hour and a half, and you're generally... Maybe, maybe. Depends on what you play, or what levels you play. Death so. Wish Diamond Store, you know, two or three runs through uh, that. Um, no, well, in my, in my experience, the Death Wish Diamond Store gets you... Uh, 120... Uh, anywhere from 12 to 15 levels, because I'm putting it in level perspective instead of XP, because people yeah. don't want to do numbers. Um, anywhere from about 11 to 15 levels, depending on the boost that you've got from, like, level 0 or so. So, uh, I guess, compact I'd really, I'd really love to just stay at level 0 for longer than a second. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, uh, depending on how you play the game, you've made you... A very well made. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it would be really interesting. Like I, 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 think I just came up with it on a whim. But really, restricting you from using particular inventory items might be really interesting as well. Like yeah. if you're a predominantly heavy player, and let's say you spec into the enforcer infamy level, maybe you can't use that um, heaviest vest for some odd reason. Like that, there, you're handicapped in some way. Obviously, it doesn't work for the dodge character, but well. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, opposites. Uh, just restrict the thing that you rely on the most. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, actually, that's a good segue. Um, and we actually have this on the page here. We're wondering if there might be a new tree for fugitive because it's kind of uh, yes. shoehorned into every other infamy level right now. Yeah, I. That might be what they mean by new system. You know, including the new um. Uh, the new fugitive perp tree, and other than that, other than the uh, prior rework suit spoke But then, of. you know, how would the numbering work, then? Exactly. <laughs> because it's meant to be of, like, all cards. Yeah, I... like, it's... It's Joker. This, this could be a horrible, horrible way to do it. 
but Can there's how many? Yeah. yeah, there's, wait, there's 16 levels of infamy, you said? No, no, no right. there'd be 14, wouldn't there? Okay, no, wait. There, I have to think about this. How many, how many infamy levels are there now, like, how much is there a capacity for? Well, there's, like, there's the, uh, one to get the heat, and then there's the four tree ones. Yeah, so there's me just, infamy. Hang on. Infamy All five. right, yeah. So it goes, there's the infamy one, and then, then there's the four we have unlocked now, and then there's two more rows of four, and then one at the top. Okay, so five, two more rows of four, so that's 13. So 14, there's a capacity for 14 infamy levels yeah. at, at current. Yeah. So, let's see. I actually have one I infamy so point three remaining. Uh, three rows of, three rows of four, you said, or no, four rows of three? No. I, three rows I, of four. Three well, rows they, of I don't actually even really think we should look at that, because they could change that. Yeah, because I was trying it's, to work out a way that they could, the, like, uh, maybe make it, make it by a uh, class, like, have each row a class. That would be a, I don't think that would be a good way to do it, but that's just something I thought. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, ooh, I should actually... Um, well, um, I'm trying to think of another game. Like, you, you guys have seen uh, just win or lose ladders, right? Like, you have two people competing, and then one of them goes up the tree, yeah. and then there's it splits yeah. off into two more trees. Just something like that. Well, I mean, splits it would be really, really, really interesting. Again, going back to, you know, detrimental upgrades. Like, if you go up, you have one of two choices that you can make for your infamy tree, and... One or the other will handicap you in some way, and I think just would trying you be to play with to that might be a lot more interesting. Yeah, I, th I I would like them to allow us to respec, so it's an addition onto the existing skill trees that we have. But giving a disadvantage to every decision you make, to me, it's a sign of a good, yeah. thought, well thought um, out uh, experience. Speaking system. of respecing, skill sorry system. about that. Um, which masks should I choose? Because I've already got the. Uh, Mastermind one, but oh, you're making me unlucky. Sorry, I I like you. It's, it's you oh, oh, masks. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Like, yeah, but um, you, you yawned and I yawned. Anyways, you were saying. Yeah, so I have one infamy point remaining. Which one should I put it into? Um, out of uh, enforcer, technician, and ghost. Technician's got the cooler mask, in my opinion. Well, I'm talking about like a uh, skill point. Oh, for, uh, going. Okay, so we're going to the skill section of this. Oh yeah. Whichever uh, one you use the most. Yeah, I was about to closed. say. Mm. Probably something like ghost, I guess. Yeah. Do it. All right, let's do this. Boom. All right. All right. Do you guys have any um, thoughts on what mask, or whether they're actually continue con going to continue with just unique masks for? Uh, Oh well, of course. Reward is hope so. Of course, that's, that's like just jumping yeah. for yeah. yeah, of course. They're the pictures for each new tier. Yeah, so. they have to do it. Well, that was that was you know that case was slammed closed. Why don't you go through Remy's quote? What does he think, Lewis? Oh well, uh, to quote the uh, quote the Remy, he uh, gives the one hundred players a reason to keep playing, according to the Remy. Thanks, Remy. He really added to the conversation. The the <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Infamy 2.0 is... Don't I like it. You need to <laughs> continue that throughout the whole thing. Just for <laughs> dear Remy and Lewis today. Fantastic. Uh, but uh, so personally, I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of Infamy, just the way it works right now. So I'm, uh, as You'll long as it's uh, not like a Swedish to English error in translation... Yeah. Yeah, I'm only about three one hundred. Um, three eighty five. Like unless they add those disadvantages that I previously mentioned, I'm just not really interested. I just infamy when I feel like it. Sounds like a good idea. So right now it doesn't really add much. Like you get some, uh, you know, the ability to maybe get to the next tier in your skill trees like a little bit earlier, but it, it's not something I strive to. But there are certainly quite a few people like Remy, the wonderful French band that he is. He just wants to see that counter go up, and that's enough for him. Yeah, and he good does. Friends. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But compared to everything else on the uh, the hype train stop list, uh, that's one of the things I'm probably least interested in. Mm -hmm. I want something yeah. that will change the gameplay. Yeah, like Bonnie. And hopefully Infamy might do that. 
it, it'll change <laughs> gameplay in that I don't want to play anymore. Well, no, it will change it in that uh, you will not even be able to move. <laughs> yes, Get in the van and all one. of a sudden it becomes a low rider. <laughs> But guys, she's going to add a beautiful perspective, beautiful fresh new angle on this game that has not been taken by many other directors. What? Please reblog and like. For for good yeah. reasons, they have not been taken by other people for good reasons. <laughs> Actually, there is a character in GTA Four that, or sorry, GTA Five that looks exactly like Bonnie. Ah, what well, the? That's um... a completely different game. The contract person that gives you like hits or bounties to go out on. Oh yeah. yeah. No. no, not Lester. <laughs> not There's Lester. an actual lady out in the des- <laughs> desert. Ah, uh, she was. She, yeah, she was in the trailer at the uh, a picket I, fence and a dog named Skip. I that forgot her name, trailer, but yeah. I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Well, you know. Have you guys been really to the original. Hot Train website lately? Recently, oh. uh, yeah. I visited it's, it about a day or two ago. It's a bit crazy at the moment. Oh, why? Um, it's got Dallas up the front of the train holding a gun. It's got Hoxton. Leaning out the window, or Houston, actually. Oh yeah, and Wolf um, hanging on the side of the train, yeah. And, the, and there's just all lasers and stuff around them. Yeah, dude, and gotta get that hype going. And sparks flying off. T- Twenty-six days remaining at this point. Where I think Can't wait till we get to that g- last day, and it's traveling at like Mach eight. Yeah, if this is what it's doing now. Um, four. So we're at uh, four hundred, four hundred and two thousand gallons of hype fuel. We're getting there. We're getting there. So, I would say it's safe to assume that we will end up at least with the uh, highest updates. Ox Revenge? Nah. Uh, maybe, but... Because that's what the whole community wants. Because yeah, we're but... going to strive to get that. That's why we had that huge burst during Crime Fest. But to get that, we need uh, uh, to get Bonnie and the Golden Grin Casino preview. <sighs> And the Why ten heisters know? flown to L.A. Why must we get all the bad before we get the good? <laughs> well, you got to stretch it out in some way. You know, yeah. I wouldn't mind the new characters if they actually had some sort of tangible relation to the new missions that come out. Like, hey, we can't get uh, Revenge for Hoxton without Bonnie. She's got the connections. Oh, well, I mean, Bonnie I'm sure there's many the, more um, talented writers out the there that can come up with a better... A better <laughs> uh, rationalization than that, but you know what I mean. Like, I just yeah. wish they would put more into the characters. I mean, why do we have this lady? She's definitely not a payday, uh, payday gang person. It's just like this is just the. <laughs> is the she a person team. in general? First difference new to me. I just feel terrible, like just to judge someone based on their looks. But like, really, I mean, for, for the game, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because it doesn't make any she sense. She doesn't look like a heister. Yeah. She looks like. It's like it's like all the putting all the naked people in Skyrim, schlongs of Skyrim. <sighs> Every mod video. <laughs> that sounds Every like a, that sounds video. like a bad MTV show though. Well, <laughs> can we write a schlongs of Skyrim? Skyrim. <laughs> a big threat about that. Time? It's like, hi, I accidentally installed this mod called Schlongs of Skyrim in my game, <laughs> and I can't get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? And that was like a, I'm asking a, for a, a huge friend. running joke on Reddit. Uh. I'm asking for a friend. Yes. <laughs> okay, now we're getting, we're getting off topic talking about schlongs. Ooh, getting hot and bothered. Okay, <laughs> why don't we move on to our next topic? Right Infamy <laughs> two point oh. We we pretty much covered everything yeah. on, yes, on the one, yes, like yeah. the one sentence that they gave us. Yep. Okay. So uh, new music from Simon Vicklin. That's our next topic. He's mm-hmm. got this interesting list of what he calls B side, the B side of the Payday soundtrack. Yep. We've got Enter the Hallway, SWAT Attack, Showdown, Double LMGs. Rule Britannia, Her Yagdris Har, which I'm saying horribly wrong, An Unexpected Call, This Is Goodbye, Zagrebaka, Betrayal, and The Enforcer. Which I'm going to assume The Enforcer is the sou- is the track from the Overkill DLC trailer. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, in his tweet, uh, it had, like, which things it was from. So it was from uh, Hoxton Breakout. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rule Britannia. Ah, oh, God, yeah, I can't wait oh, for, yeah, that yeah. Punk, for that punk version of Rule Britannia. That's going to be great. Yeah, and, um, yeah, so it comes from the uh, first five tracks from Enter the Hallway to Rule Britannia are from Free Hoxton, which is yep. the uh, trailer. Um, six through eight are John Wick. Ooh. Nine and ten are From the Bomb, and eleven is, yes, the Overkill Pack. 
Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I wouldn't mind uh, Simon just Twitter, releasing those yeah. separately on his, uh, you know, just in the Payday 2 soundtrack yeah. folder. I mean, he has a bunch of other random stuff there, but I'm not sure if these are actually complete songs because he says, not only does he say it doesn't fit with Payday 2's normal music, well, actually, that's oh. all he says, it doesn't fit, but are they, is it because they're not complete or? No, it's like, it's probably got that, uh, you're the music from the bomb trailer. The do 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 do. Yeah, probably oh, that must that. be the Zakrabaka. Oh yeah. yeah, that sounds Croatian. And then Croatia. betrayal would probably be, um, you know, when they got when... stabbed. And... Yes. Yeah, when that. I I wonder. I feel like I know that actor who played that inspector who got stabbed, but I forgot his name. Yeah, whatever. He's dead now. But yes, the B side. <laughs> well, a wonderful way to put it. Um, respect for the. But yes, the. Yeah, respect. <laughs> press have to pay respects. Um, the cost of this B side album will be one dollar, and it will grow with new tracks. And in my opinion, it is way worth it. That's like Simon's underselling himself by making it only a dollar. Yeah, ho- hopefully it's going to be on the Steam thing, so it just auto updates. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of buying the tracks off of Bandcamp, actually, although yeah. Simon seems to be able to, to get though. his tracks on there much faster. Yeah, um, like the soundtrack versions of uh, Breach 2015 and all that were available Dude, to yeah. listen. The soundtrack version of Breach 2015 and Ho 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 are crazy. I love them. Ho Ho Ho. Yeah. Ho. Oh. That. You know, that's, that's something that always makes me a little curious. It's like uh, Simon goes through a lot of work to kind of stitch all of those dynamic music parts together. But oftentimes, even with the Payday, the Heist soundtrack, he's done a lot of work making them sound better than they actually do uh, versus their in-game counterparts. So we so- sort of run into a loop where we want the soundtrack version to be in the game. Although, yeah. in essence, it's really the same same music. But yeah. Yeah, it, it's just that's an interesting thing that different. Simon does, is that they are two like distinctively different tracks. And I wonder if you'll actually officially want to add them into the game. I, it's really a constant cycle, isn't it? Yeah. Although I do appreciate that work that he does to make to make the soundtrack versions, because they're great. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Just, yeah, so if that thing goes on the Steam, uh, I guess when it goes on sale, it's going to be like the uh, Xmas one. It'll be like 19 cents or something crazy. Dude, I'll, yeah, that'd be great. I'd buy it full price, though. Actually, no, I uh, I have like 30 cents in my Steam account, so... I've got 39 cents, so... High roller! Well, if it comes Dad. out on Steam, I hope it comes with the Simon Vickland mask. Simon <laughs> Vickland mask? What what would that be? Just Simon Vickland's face? Well, just face, be his or... face. They already scanned his face in Payday the Heist. I'm surprised they didn't reuse his NPC in the oh. second one. Apparently, uh, there's an answer to that. Uh, in an interview with Sim- with Vickland, he said that he was absent uh, the day they um, scanned, scanned the face. Yeah, they scanned the face. Who wanted to be in the game? He he yeah. specifically, explicitly stated everyone who wanted to be in the game. <laughs> Who's to say he'd actually want to be in it and shot in the face again? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he said he he would want to go back and do it though. So like, well, he'd, I, he'd I, I sorry. No, no, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> I was just wondering, like, why can't they use most of the models from the first one? If anything, like, the 3D scans in the first Payday uh, game were actually somewhat more detailed than the ones, the potato-y people that we have in Payday 2. Potato-y? That's yeah, an really are potato people. Potato people. Truly. Potato people. But yes, the Simon Vickland NPC people. in Payday the Heist, it was very accurate. It looked exactly like him. Well, I mean, he's sound designer. Got to make him look uh, at least a little bit better than the rest. He's got to be presentable for the bullet in his face. Yep. But yes, only one dollar. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. One dollar. He's really got a nice position at Overkill. I mean, yeah, I know. He's just constantly pumping out tracks, and he's their in-house guy for this stuff, and it's great. Yeah. I, yeah, I like, think. Um, Mm-hmm. He did actually mention that he was doing some more tracks from the uh, bomb. Ooh. Well, like I would assume it, it would be that, uh, those two songs. But yeah, oh, apparently God. somewhere he did say that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, is that uh, is that all we can get out of Simon's 
little section here? I would assume Pretty so. much. I, yeah. I almost kind of wanted to cover his role. and Well, I'm not really wanting to cover his role. What I was going to say is that he's got a very nice, uh, and I hesitate to say cushy position at Overkill, just doing that. But I was kind of going to link that to just anyone starring in a video game, especially if it's an actor or something. They somehow gain this cult following by joining the cast of the video game because... Did you know the guy who played Chains, or did you know the guy who played uh, Houston or Dallas? Like, they might not have been big before, but now they have an entirely new following, and it's yeah. all from this like comparatively tiny video game in comparison well, to like a except huge Hollywood. For, um, um, except for uh, Houston. No, for uh, <laughs> what's his name? I can't pronounce it. The dentist. Uh, uh Giancarlo Esposito. Well, yeah. I mean, he was already quite big, and well, yeah. people really loved him in the other roles he played. Exactly. It was just a nice treat to have him in here. But, exactly. like, that was actually, like, sort of the hype thing about him being unveiled was like, oh, look, we have an actual actor. Yes. Yeah. famous. Well, we... Well, that's yeah. kind of downplaying everyone else, isn't wow. it? Well, well, you know, someone that's... Well, we have an actor in the games, guys. Better known. But yeah. yes, I just kind of wanted to clear that out of my head because I thought, wow, like, if... If we ever make it big, just get in the video game and people will just latch on to you. Yeah. Because, like, and again, they just get... And it seems like they fit their characters so well. It's just like... Because, again, now everyone's, like, uh... Everyone associates, like, uh, Simon Kerr. Like, previously he was just another voiceover guy. And now he's the tough and gruff, like, but still caring voice of Dallas. And it's just, like, it's very interesting. I just, uh... Yeah. I like it. And, and when you see, uh, just the actors in another gig that they're in it's like hey it's dallas or hey yeah. it's chains oh he changes a cop oh man uh, you know that it's a joke that's gone on for too long but it's always nice to or like to uh, see or dallas is a bartender to... or something like that yes yeah. exactly yeah or vlad's the dry cleaner and friends or something like ah, that yeah man i wish i came up with that post because i'm a big fan of friends i have not I, seen i'm surprised I, and I only made that show. joke to my girlfriend who didn't appreciate it because she had no idea what was going on <laughs> that's vlad she was she just like, she just like what 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 are you talking about? Uh, nothing. It's just uh, it's oh. just uh, never mind. <laughs> you just kind of just shake my exist. shake my uh, shake my fist at the sky. But anyway, well, <laughs> back to I got that I got that <laughs> off my chest. Why don't we move on? All right. Um, we could. I think we kind of covered the uh, overkill pack damage control really when we were talking about um infamy. Kind of did we? Yeah, sort of that. Well, uh, we we yeah. covered the XP boost, um, but did we talk about their official response to, let's say, things like similarly named DLCs and why Overkill would dare to ask for donations? Why do you need more money, Overkill? I uh, no, I don't think we quite got to that. So, I suppose we'll start with that. Um, the question uh, this is coming from their official update. Uh, let's see. Why do you need more money? Uh, their answer. Uh, is with the success of... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm over here. I forgot. With the success of Payday, we managed to <sighs> uh, come into a unique position as an independent developer. Well, we decided that we want to do um, without anyone else interfering. With that, our ambitions grew. We want to give you more. We want to give you a better experience. We want to give you cooler trailers with amazing actors. We want to give you more high <laughs> weapons, masks, features, and so on. With more ambition, there is no cost. There is more cost. As always... We do paid content when we need to, and do free content when we can. I think the key to the Swedish accent is really emphasizing the S's. It's just masks, masks, guys, yeah. guys. I mean, listo, list. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that the next time I'm impersonating Almir. It's also you know, going not, to be the next time I get arrested. But yes, yeah, I mean, that was a very <laughs> diplomatic answer. It I mean, seems so. There's yes. not really much to say. I mean... He didn't yeah. really go anywhere that we could argue with. It, it is agreeable. Yes, you de do need more money more to continue live action developing the game. Mm. But, yes, they did mention that, didn't they? With amazing actors, so maybe they're... Wasn't there a whole thing about uh, the uh, Payday movie? Yeah. I'm... That keeps coming up, and for some reason, people are very yeah, out like, uh, of the uh, know. They're like, hey, guys, did you know there's a Payday movie coming out? And this IMDb page has been, like, there for years. Yeah, like yeah, I think that since, was uh, a long time. Uh, what uh, what's his name? Uh, the Smosh movie, which should tell you what kind of quality we're dealing with. Uh, <laughs> ooh, 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 oh God! 
Great. But uh, Great. I'm almost thinking that the IMDb page for the Payday movie was kind of like created in or like as a mistake because the description for it kind of matches exactly what the premise is for the Payday web series. And I know they have a, their own site for the Payday web series, the, their own IMDb page, but like the premise is exactly the same. I almost want to say they made it by mistake. I can't see them going on with an entire movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Payday. sort of the Just issue weird. with like video, video game movies in general is like how much content there is there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. You know, if we do make a safe house podcast, I'd really love to talk about the Hitman trailer. Oh, Dear yeah. God. Oh, God. Yeah, I watched that. Ugh. Yeah. I think we should just... Makes me want to do backflips and kill myself. Just for that. <laughs> Guys, are yeah. we... Uh, uh, Edward, would, but... you be, would you be happy to do that? I, I, I would like to actually talk about that. I, think I don't I'm know about to... today, but maybe yeah. we should just... Con- Sometime. All right, yeah. continue with this one. Back it's... to what we're talking about right now. Getting me oh. inflamed. No, oh, yes, right. amazing actors. They mentioned amazing actors. So I'm guessing they're planning on Getting grabbing more in here? known people. I wonder who they could. I wonder who they would get though. It all depends on who they're introducing. Amazing actors. I, I almost want them to not take anyone who you know, because I feel like that kind of takes me out of it. And that's one of the reasons why GTA sort of went away from taking people or, like, famous people and making them do the voices because the issue with GTA Vice City was like, hey, am I playing as Tommy Rossetti or am I playing as Ray Liotta? <laughs> and people would make that make that an issue. They're like, oh, I'm not playing as Tommy Rossetti. I'm playing as the actor because he has such a distinctive voice. Yeah, like, with... That's... Um, like, yeah. Trevor's probably the most famous one in that game. He was on, like, some TV show. But oh, well, he, I was talking about Vice City. But. Yeah, but like uh, with the newest GTA, how they've gone away from having particularly famous. Well, it started, with San, it started with San Andreas. Actually, they just got no names and pretty much well, sort except of made for you know um, Samuel L. Jackson was in that. I, I actually have yeah, a, that's true, but he was an antagonist. You didn't hear him yeah. all the time. Yeah, he wasn't. Back to what we were tr- we were originally <laughs> saying, but I do I do agree with you on the whole. You know, getting you know major people to do it again. Mm. It's kind of like, uh, kind of sticks them with that, kind of brands them with that. Because kind of, uh, how do, how do I put this? Look at Pete Gold. People now know him as Hawkston. They don't really know him as Pete Gold for the guy, uh, you know, outside of Hawkston, who does, like, comedy and podcasts. Oh, they know actually, him as Pete Gold. Right, let's, yeah. let's, Jason Boyd! Me! Yeah. All right. Uh, but that's, 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 that's point. I like it when they're unknown. I mean, they yeah. can really just shift right into the character without you having any preconceptions about them. Because I thought that was the issue with uh, Giancarlo Esposito, the guy who plays um, the dentist. I mean, everyone, I'd Gu- say most people Gus knew him Fring. from Breaking Bad, exactly, as playing Gus Fring. And it was just like, it was a nice reference because we have a ton of blue meth in Payday too, but... And he's a fantastic actor as well. It's just like, did they really need to get him? I mean, it, it yeah, couldn't those, have been cheap, is what I'm saying. Those t- kind of two performances do seem very similar. Like, Gus Fring, his voice seems a bit uh, softer. Well, I'd say he does it exactly uh, the same, just no accent in the, yeah. as when he plays the dentist. But he plays the same thing. It's like, hey, yeah, he's got... He, he's a chameleon in normal society, he has a normal job. He seems yeah. That they both completely run innocuous places. Um, yeah, and then uh, on in the background, they're actually you know a super super criminal mastermind who me- meticulously plans everything, and that pretty much fits Gus to a T, and it fits the dentist to a T. And while those roles coincide, I just didn't think that it added that much more. I want to say I love the guy, but did they need to spend that much money on it? Well, they don't need to. It was just a little overkill, you know. What do you? What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> that was horribly delivered. Least, at the very least, if they're paying this much for these actors, I want them to record more lines. Yeah. Is that too much to ask? Amazing. Like, they can't just come for one video and record that and just leave, and we're we're just left hanging with blank lines when we yell at people to get down. Uh, not looking at anyone in particular. 
I'm assuming Anyways. you are referring to Dragon. I don't know. I haven't bought his DLC. Uh, I wonder. I wonder who. Anyway. Oh, Houston. Yeah. Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Was that? Anyway, took you a while to get there, but I knew you would get there. Yeah. Well, see. Was that wrong or was that? <laughs> no, you got it right. Some okay. of the other things That's that great. they clarified in their uh, damage control, uh, quote unquote. Is the uh, what's the status of the Gensec enemy and the FBI files from Crimefest? What, uh, what would the FBI on... files be again? Yeah, I see. Like stats. Probably some kind of like thing like that. In-game stats. Apparently, they are still in development. They've they've been tossing these features around, according to what Almir has said, and they'll be released when they feel they are quote awesome enough unquote. Yes, Lucky brought up a good question because the way. Almir clarifies it is because they're delayed because they want them to be good features. So what we had in Payday the, Payday the Heist, if you aren't aware, is that it was actually, the stat system was actually integrated with Steam. So if you went to someone's Payday the Heist hours on the profile, it would actually go to their stats page and you'd see how many times they played a particular heist yep. or how many times they used a particular gun. So we sort of do have that with the Payday Stats website. Um, but the way Almir kind of justifies it, he says good features, so I'm assuming it's got to be something in-game, FBI files. But based on the description that we had on the CrimeFest website, the way they described it kind of implied that the FBI files were really just going to flesh out uh, the characters a little more. Yeah. Like, we'll find out more about Dallas and you know the original Payday crew and what they did. I'm almost wondering if it might be like heists, like flashback heists, like what made Dallas so famous or something. And maybe this was his first heist with the clown. Uh, the FBI files. Yeah, okay. That'd, That'd be, be kind of interesting. interesting. Like a flashback mission would be cool. Why haven't they done that for like the heists in Payday One? Because that would get more people into sort of those sort of heists. Just an idea. But... As in, as insulting as this sounds, I almost want to say, sorry, I'm I'm referring to the thing I said before, like going into the backstory of characters. As insulting as it sounds, I almost want to say that the writers at Overkill, I mean, they're talented gameplay designers, but I don't think the story writing is their strong suit. Yeah. So to yeah. flesh out something that's already kind of imagined in our heads, I don't think they could do anything that won't disappoint us, story wise. <laughs> sorry, I apologize. I wonder if they'll ever hire, like, an outside story writer to, like, completely just redo the lore and give us a new backstory. Uh, do you think that'd be viable at this point in the game's development? Probably not. Uh, it seems like they're focusing perhaps. more on the heists. I just wish that... I almost wish that they wouldn't introduce more story elements. Just give us a mission. Bane sent us on whatever crap he wants us to do. And we clown around at that specific location. Clown around! Stuff. Is that, like, you don't, even really, you don't even really need more justification than that. I want to line my pockets with gold or something. Come on. <laughs> Skip the story, just give us great heists. I mean, I don't care about the contacts. They yeah, barely the... talk to us anyways. It's Bane who's whispering into our ears. Did the Butcher even talk to us on the... Uh... No, I think the only line that yeah. I remember is obviously the one that you get when you like buy the uh, the the heist and the yeah. contract uh, menu, and I think there's that little clip of her mentioning that Gage is on extended vacation on the um, the bomb website, the mini website. Yep, that's yeah, extended vacation. It's like all the videos are nice, but I mean they don't flesh out the universe enough to all justify right. them. But maybe it's a learning process. Maybe they're just... They need to make those crappy ones to make them better. Maybe. Or maybe, you know, it won't like get better. Who knows? It's hard to say. They also clarified about the uh, SWAT enemy turret uh, not being the Gensec enemy. They know? gave a really good answer as well. What was that? Uh, it was no. Just Oh, it's not out. the same. Okay. Yeah, just flat out no. Well, thanks, Almir. Oh, and they also... If uh, only he could be less ambiguous with every, everything else he talks about. They also made sure to say uh, that, you know, the secret item in the completely overkill pack is cosmetic. So it's not going to be something yeah. that gives you any advantage or disadvantage. Or heist. Well, I just don't... I yeah. don't understand what could be more valuable than the shiny original Payday masks. They're even self-illuminated. 
<laughs> it just uh, uh, gives us a glow in the dark material to put on our to put on other masks. <laughs> yeah, I don't even understand why they need to keep this a secret. I, I just want to say that they did it because they don't know what it, what it they want it to be. Got to keep up that overkill secret front. Got to make sure so. it. Uh, I didn't gotta see any winking. Keep up appearances. But guys, if you wear the special secret mask in Big Bank and then you stand in the, in the positions of Overdrill, uh, you will unlock a secret day two of that heist. You can finally go into that little precarious door in the middle of the bank. Oh yeah, the one that's yeah that goes down that thing. Yeah. I always wanted you know, it would have been really interesting if they dropped the drill bits right in there, and then you had to like go in there to get all the drill parts. It would have been a ni- It would have made a nice little pocket. Not yes, it would. It would have given a reason to even having that in there. Yeah. See, I don't even know what that's about. I don't think we'll ever find out. Uh, yeah. Well. Sure. Uh, well, why, why don't we move on to the next question? I'll read the question, and you can read the answer. Oh boy. Are you are you trying to maliciously trick us by naming the DLCs almost the same? Uh, they are every, named the same. Every Steam, uh, every Steam yeah. forum. Ugh. Just an, an amalgamation of every Steam comment. I know. Amalgamate. I, put into that voice. Five Nights of Freddy's heist. <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he. Uh, it goes on to say that uh, they are divided by two different price tags within their respective box. Uh, just like before with our two DLC releases. When you click the box, you are given a list what the package contains. On each, Steam st- uh, t- <laughs> on each store page on Steam, it clearly says what it contains. Based on community feedback, we added a note on the top of the Steam store page for the completely overkill pack to further clarify its contents. So they did, you know, again, that's some damage control. They said, you know, these are two separate things. They aren't... You know, the same. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Well, I'm quite sure what they added to the completely overkill pack. Um, you know, quote-unquote, they said, This pack is for anyone who wants a way to support overkill in developing the free hype train content for the community. Yep. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what they added, and that definitely does a it much is kind of better job in clarifying. It doesn't include that, but yeah. Yeah, you would think that... If you're paying more, you'd be supporting them enough for twenty-two dollars. But the issue I see there is that because this completely overkill pack is going to be, you know, annulled in some way in the future, that if you somehow merge the overkill pack, which has the actual usable weapons in them, it might cause issues. Maybe, maybe. Ah, well, I guess it's just all left to see what happens. I, so basically, uh, the answer to are you trying to maliciously trick us? The answer is no. We're, no, we're not trying to trick you. Yeah. Although we were really unclear with our descriptions. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> we're Swedish. <laughs> and I think the last question. <laughs> I think <laughs> the last question you should ask is really why uh, are you asking for donations? Uh, you don't have to read this verbatim. You can just summarize it if you like. They, uh, they are not, there's, uh, they're always with the community, they ask for their support, whether it's an email or something like that, a message to give them feedback or a purchase of a DLC, they couldn't be where they are without us, so they need our continued support, making sure they stay independent. Uh, with the hype, yeah, go ahead. That's really, like, what do you call that, a euphemism? It's like, yes, this is not a donation, it's support. It's a double on top. Same thing, man. Um, but man, imagine that. Like based on what he said, imagine if he could just send them an email. Hey, Overkill, you guys are doing a wonderful job, and that adds a, a gallon of hype fuel to the train. Why didn't they That'd just be... do in-game stuff? Like, so well, I, I imagine it'd be hard to code like yeah, triggers but, to uh, yeah, tr- make in-game stuff trigger like a gallon. But yeah, oh, I I just, and then, the, and then the, what and about then how many hackers. retweets there are? How many emails there are? That would be nice to show support. That's support, get, not donations. Get two billion retweets on this street to unlock fifty-two gallons of high fuel. That would be pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, hey, get this, get this, uh, get the word out that Payday Two is the game to play. Um, that's support. I mean, you want to get people playing the game, uh, but uh, who would buy the completely overkill pack for twenty-two Canadian dollars if they don't already play the game? 
Because that was yeah. kind of an interesting thing about Crime Fest is that, hey, we're spreading the word about the game. Maybe people might be interested in it. You know, it benefits new people, and it really benefits the people who already play the damn game. This one really doesn't do anything like that. It just, hey, you already play our game. You already know about our game. You already bought a lot of our DLCs. Why don't you support us a little more with the Overkill pack? It just... Uh, it, it kind of went the opposite direction as to everything else they were doing, which is what probably why a lot of people felt a, a little peeved. A little peeved. Right, guys? A little. Uh, yeah, Reddit was... As little as a minigun into the face. Of course. Which is what happened to those SWAT guys in the trailers. But I think that's, uh, I think that's what we can say for damage control. I think we got it uh, down. Do you th- well, I think I wrote a question down here, so pretend you didn't read it or anything. Did this alleviate fans' concerns about Overkill's direction? Well... Uh, what was the reaction like on the Reddit? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure someone said what I said about the donation thing almost verbatim, like, so they're just asking for donations through support. Donation support. Like, they, they weren't having none of that. They just... Didn't really like his diplomatic response to it. But then again, it could have just been that one person. It usually is with the internet. Uh, I think people were just more concerned over the fact that we were getting in for me than anything else, so... <laughs> actually, yeah. good, that's a really good job on their part, actually. It's like, hey, you know, it's the shit sandwich kind of thing. Okay, maybe I used the wrong words. The sandwich. <laughs> it's like, you have something good, or like something crappy, and then something good in the middle, and then something crappy. It's like, hey, we're going to continue. Triple uh, Decker. We're giving you Infamy 2.0, something you guys have really wanted. We're going to stick with our way of getting gal- gallons for the hype train. And then, yeah, we're going to continue with it. <laughs> I guess the sandwich analogy didn't really work, but you know what I well, mean. Well, if you make it a single decker, then it's fine. But, you know. <laughs> yes, it's just missing a piece of bread. Oh, well. Mm, that, that would but be what about you guys? Did it? Did it? alleviate your concerns because I, I really I guess we shouldn't tar everyone with the same brush did it satisfy our yeah I I, endless anger I, su- I suppose it's, it got me a little bit it you know it seems just a tad too diplomatic I'm uh, still just waiting to see how the rest plays out if the content is decent maybe, like maybe it might make me forget but <laughs> it, it does make me worry I, I just can't get that out of my head well while you uh, brew over your own concerns, we'll just uh, segue right into our next topic. Which our Possibly last topic is the, yeah. Yeah, it's the confirmed map editor. Uh, so someone named Sinister Pixel tweeted Ilya Petrusik, the you know, level designer, with their heist idea of a real ground heist, which I read. I thought it was pretty good. And Ilya confirmed the existence, pretty much confirmed the existence well, of some mapping tools for the community. Yeah. Well, he said the, it's w- something- the wished existence. Yeah. He said, it's something we want to get out to the community. There are some problems we are facing, but we are working on it. So he says he wants to get it in, but they have some some troubles. But the diesel engine, which Payday runs on, has had map editors previously, if you look at Graal 1 and 2 PC, for instance. So... Yes. So Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter, Ubisoft games, they actually did use an old version of diesel. I don't know what version we're on right now. I think it's 2.0 or 3.0. 2.0. Okay. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter actually had a pretty interesting map editor um, that you sort of had to go into the game to use. Um, like, you would start off with uh, going into the map editor, and it would I think it would randomly generate some terrain. And you could actually add in buildings and stuff, and I think you could do some post-editing outside of the game as well, which is really interesting. From what I understand, though, it was pretty difficult to use, so I think if they brought it over to Payday, which is a very tightly scripted game for all the heists that we use, or play, sorry. Uh, it might be a little difficult to do stuff like that. I'm not or exactly sure what the editor uh, would look like. Or they could just go the uh, Hitman Absolution route of... Um, of yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of yeah. new games kind of have... Uh, an in-game sort of editing tool where you're not really able to do anything expansive like changing significant parts of the map or any parts of the map at all, but you can kind of change the objectives around, which is already something that can push the replayability factor of the game quite upwards quite a bit. But I think for 
payday, it's almost more trouble than it's worth because I, you know, based on my my thoughts, is that I want new heists, uh, and based on the small maps that we have right now, there's only just so much you can do with it. I want to I want to run across an entire city. That's all I ask. Is it too much to ask? Probably. Yeah. 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 It is. But <laughs> but I mean, someone would probably do Way it to if crush we had a custom map right. editor. Yeah, I just crushed it right there. But yeah, um, I'm sure everyone's that lives is, have been changed uh, by payday. Just walking into a bank can't be the same way it was before. But here, here's where we uh, enter the other problem: is they have to put this in in a non-game breaking way. So the suggestion we have here is uh, have a set XP or money payout for all custom ice until they are verified. And I don't know why I said verified. Very weird there. Very. Um, yeah. Very. Fine. And it's, then the XP money fun. payout can be tweaked and must be approved, yada yada. Remy, uh, I'll take a stance on this. <laughs> no, uh, please no. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read it without the fancy yes. Frenchness. Um, it's a bit says, too long. Yeah. He says he doesn't see it working for their business model. Uh, Says he, he can see it being released to keep the game and community alive during the wait for Payday 3 after Overkill is done with Payday 2 DLC, but it defeats the purpose of charging for heist when an exact copy can be made in the map editor. And then you have the issues where Overkill can make a heist that will inevitably have been made similarly by the community, and you have a ton of he said, she said situations, they cannot beat so and so, etc. Unquote. So, that's a very real, uh, that's a very real standpoint on it. Uh, yeah, Remy makes a good point, and I think that point has been mirrored with uh, a lot of other games, actually. Uh, I think it's one that we talked about before, you know, the infamous uh, game that has the schlongs of Skyrim game. Yep. That game yep. is Skyrim. Um, even though that game has a lot of mods, they actually officially support mods. They give you the exact same yeah. tools that the developers make. They, they, they go the extra mile and they make their own DLCs as well. And to be entirely honest with you, I don't think many of the mods that have been made by the community, specifically quest mods, were really able to match up with anything that the official developers put out. I don't know if it's because they're more familiar with the system, but there's just that level of polish that you, that is very difficult to achieve. Um, by just some random schlub. I'm one of those random schlubs, and uh, <laughs> and you know a lot of my works probably it doesn't really fit very well with yeah. uh, this the stuff that it goes into. But that's just the case. I'm not familiar with it as as much as the developers are. But I think if there is that level of polish with official stuff, um, it, it's really hard to say that they can't sell their own stuff alongside the modding tools. It's just that different feeling that you get from something official. I mean, it, one way that they could do this is they could, with every heist that they put out, it continues the story of the Payday Gang. And that's something you can't set in stone with um, yeah. fan-made stuff. True. Yeah. Right? Well, fans will infer their own lore here and there to keep themselves satisfied, no matter what uh, no matter what fandom this is that we're talking about, but yes, you make a very good point with that. Mm -hmm. You can't argue with the word of God, and the word of God is the developers, whatever they say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I think that'd be a wise um, direction for Overkill to head in, like, hey, you want to find out more about the Payday Gang? Well, if you pay well, it's, us yeah, this it's much, just... you'll find out about the next chapter of the Payday Gang's uh, doings. Journeys. Misadventures. <laughs> Yes, I Whatever think those words are better than doings. They're deeds oh, yeah. there. I know, um, Nefarious plans. <laughs> for example, what, what would you guys like to see made in a map editor like that? Just banks. Banks from every banks. corner of the world. Because we don't have enough of those yet. Uh, we really don't. I know you say that sarcastically, but we have like two. Yeah, that, that's a very good okay, point. Okay, th yes. three. And that's yeah. still pushing it. Yeah, but no, I get, I get you on that. It'd be interesting to see some different takes on a bank. I just I just wonder what they could do with that. Like, uh, how could they put a twist on what we already have, I wonder. Remember how I was talking about maybe some difficulty tweaks? Like, you wouldn't be able to see the exclamation marks of a civilian unless you were actually in direct line of sight with them? No, that'd be interesting. I think a big, a big 
tweak to that system would be nice mm-hmm. because there's nothing quite like revving your saw and then seeing an exclamation mark come from the complete opposite direction, like 10 kilometers away from you. I really wish they would remove that. Now, here, now here's the problem with that, though. Well, it might also be a blessing and a curse. It forced people to learn. But could you imagine some new guy? He just shoots his loud weapon. He's like, "Wow, no one heard that. I guess I'll keep. Guess I'll keep doing it." And then all of a sudden, alarm calls, and he's like, "What happened?" Well, he's Someone learned his lesson. It says, shot. "Alarm, alarm tripped." Some person heard the gunshot and ran away. Yeah. I think that'd be really nice, because I, I find that it's an issue with so many heists, especially the regular bank heist map, is that you don't need to worry about anything for most of the mission. Like, you never need to peer out the window, you never really need to, like, go outside the front door and check if anyone's coming, or if anyone's running away. Exactly, yeah. It's like, yeah, like, make us look around. Anyways, what were you we talking about? Uh, we're talking about the map editor. Yes. What about you guys? Do you think... Um, actually, we, we didn't even finish answering our previous question. We were asking how could the maps be implemented in a non-game-breaking way, other than the answer that we gave before. Like, was there another method that you guys wanted to go through? Like, what make other games have you guys game played mode. with custom stuff? Uh, like, uh, make a separate game mode? In my opinion... Well, what what do you, well, when you say separate game mode, what do you mean by that? Uh, hang on. All right. He's going to write down his response. Fuck, he's giving the hang on. No, nah, mate. In my... Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. It's fine. Uh, um, so when yeah, you say separate game mode... Like, from the main menu, you can choose, you know, Crime Net or something else. I don't know. Find, a, uh, find some kind of in-universe name for that. What kind of... What could they call it? Um, oh... Crime.net slash user made heists. Uh, could be something like that. Um, Crime community, I don't know. I could call it under underbelly or something like that. I don't know. But like some be like that's almost insulting. Okay, well, it's the more gritty. We're gonna have, it's the more we're gonna have version to of things. dig our fingers right into the dirt to find some ice to play. <laughs> okay, well, when you when you say it like that, there goes mine. Uh, yeah, but, but like, yeah, what, I think what sort of heist would, we'll... would you like? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Sorry, I was thinking that when you mentioned separate game mode, like maybe there, it might be like Left 4 Dead, where you would have to go into a separate menu option and say, yeah. "Hey, I want to play a survival level," and it would kind of pull you in there, and you could play some missions that are fruitless because you die at the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but I, I, based on what they've been doing, I'd just like them to pop up in the regular CrimeNet map. Although, yeah, to be fair, CrimeNet could really go outside just Washington. I mean, I don't understand why they limited it to that. I, I just it. sort yeah. of like if they brought back the interface from the first game. That was... That was a very clean interface, and I very much like that. In fact, it wouldn't be also, too hard to... if you want to play a heist... You can play a heist instead of having to spend half a million offshore for it. Yeah. No, but like I, I feel they could do that like um, even in Payday 2 now if they just redid what Crime Net looked like. Like you made it a uh, like a bunch of like uh, you know kind of like code like uh, uh, how do I describe this in a way that won't make me sound like an idiot and we'll get you know my what it's wrong. it's not even necessary to really describe it because. Yeah. I could have sworn a while back, someone, I think the guy who made Hawkside actually, or the team that made Hawkside, they actually released a screenshot with an actual server browser. It's yeah. so, it, you wouldn't see the map, it was literally just your character standing in the background and it would show all the, uh, all the lobbies that were available. I didn't really see an issue with that system and I, I was sort of behind the that crime net way of playing missions, but now it's just pissing me off. <laughs> It's just let us play the heist that we want to play and well, let us select the difficulty. Who, who the hell cares? I know it's lore-friendly, but still. You get a taste of filet mignon and you can't go back to, you know, regular store-bought steak. Well, it's, it's, it's weird because they got it right the first time. I don't understand why they went out of their way to change it. But guys, Gotta make it fit the game, stuff. though. Yeah. Lore. Ah. I guess, well, I guess well, another thing that we'll never understand. Yeah. I guess. I think we actually did go a little off topic there. 
<sighs> but um, I suppose because <laughs> we were As really usual. talking about XP and money payout. Um, like, how could they verify it? Yeah. I okay, so we're just gonna go with the original answer, maybe, unless Lewis has something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was just going to say we should probably stick with the original. So, because I can't think of a better method than that. Although that might run into its own problems, you know, having a bunch of people, you know, getting constantly spammed with like, you know, just fake heists getting verified. Or, sorry, needing to get verified, and then what happens if it doesn't get verified? Does it just get struck and right off the market, or, like... No, oh, well, I mean, it, let's say every every custom heist gets $500,000 for payout and a set amount of XP. And then maybe there'll be some sort of rating system on custom heists, and, uh, you know, people can give reviews on each of the heists, like, hey, uh, you know, this is a fair heist, these are the objectives that we do. And okay. eventually, perhaps with enough of them, I mean, Overkill can have some official oversight and say, hey, you know, this seems like a fair... Oversight. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, sorry, uh, let me retract most of those comments. How about this? People can suggest how much money an XP would be fair to pay out in their reviews. So, like, make it so it doesn't give any money XP at all, is what you're saying, or like... No, I mean, they could take an average, like, hey, this, this mission was this difficult... Um, or this easy, I think it should be paid out, you know, with only a hundred thousand dollars based on its difficulty and length. Well, yeah. And then but they would I, take an average from that, and that would be the uh, that would be the payout for yeah, XP. yeah. Except, like, th- th- there would be ways to get around that by like making a huge map with just a huge pile of loot right next to spawn and just. But this is this is a subjective. Ah, uh, yeah. A subjective review. It's like, hey, listen, uh, okay. this is clearly a, you know, a, a boosting map. I'm going to give it a zero stars out of ten, okay, out of five, yeah. and it should be paid nothing. But well, then, yeah. and then the final average result can be uh, confirmed by Overkill. I would say. But well, where would you draw the line at the final average result? Well, I, I feel like that's fair. It's it's an answer that's come from the community from people who've played it. Well, yeah, yeah. Because I think we have a general idea of how much, like, let's say, four stores should pay out. It should pay out pennies, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, death wish. But, but I'm just, but I'm just saying, like, how many comments would like constitute the final amount? Is what I'm, you know, asking there, like the average. Well, seeing as it's a, yeah. Well, I, I, I think I see what you're getting at, Lewis. In that, like, maybe you, you have the issue where the rich get richer, like, so only the, the most popular heists will actually get rated, but I think just anyone who plays it can give a review of it and say how much it should pay out. It's just it needs to be more than one, I'm saying. I, I get that, yeah. More than five, probably. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose mm. that would work. All right, right. that works. Yeah. You're yeah, welcome, sure. Overkill. Can't wait to see that system implemented. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I hope but that. What else? What else do we that does. And uh, you're welcome. Although, to, you're welcome on. to all the new. S- yeah. Yeah. Um, if well, because as many people listening would know that uh, The Walking Dead will be out next year, and Storm will be 2017. So does that mean that there will be a sizable wait for Payday Three? Potentially. I don't even want to think about Payday Three. That would make the map edit a whole thing. Makes sense, you know. Also, that would also sort of be a way for us to keep doing the show by taking a look at custom maps and doing that. Because if there is like a two year gap in between this game and the next, and you have these two other games that seem very similar in format. So, would that mean there'd be a three year gap between Payday 3 and Payday 4? Well, no, no. I I mean that uh, Payday 3 hasn't even been announced yet, but. Both over, no, not over. Yeah, Walking Dead and Storm have like years that they're gonna be in. Storm. Whereas we have nothing for three. Mm -hmm. I want to believe that Payday Three isn't even something in Overkill's mind right now. (laughs) Um, Just for my own sake, but for your own sanity. uh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but the fact that, you know, the modding tools have essentially, or sorry, not modding tools, the level-making tools have essentially been confirmed, we do have a very solid basis uh, in Payday 2 that it could potentially go on for a very long time. 
yeah. I mean, that's the benefit of having modding tools and like, new maps is that it extends the longevity something of Something I like about CSGO game. is that and I can play on Rust. The, the, the issue with that is that because you're extending the life of this game with all this content and especially user-made content, having Payday 3 come out, or thinking, uh, even thinking about Payday 3 without truly examining what they could do to make it better would be a complete failure. Yeah. Just the, 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 what they're doing now is great. They're just concentrating on Payday 2 and yeah. you know, those other games, which, which I assume will be markedly different from Payday 2. Well, they're well, both assume, four player the co-op there. FPS. But well, uh, even with Payday the Heist, I think when they're I think the Walking Dead someone will pointed be out, but somebody pointed out that hey, this game looks a lot like Left 4 Dead, and they're like, yeah, essentially it's just Left 4 Dead with uh, uh, and you can rob stuff in it. They literally straight up admitted that. And I so what's the Walking Dead going to be like? Walking Dead, yeah, it's essentially Payday Two, but without the robbing of zombies. So it's we left for death. The, uh, cop skin. Left for death three, left for dead three. The left for death. Well, same thing, really. Left for oh, death. Yeah. Yeah. Left for death. Oh, well. I hope that's a heist. I actually hope that's a. <laughs> it's probably um, some crappy movie. horror movie. Left for death. Left for death. Probably the finish. Deafening. It's uh yeah probably finish. Oh well, maybe that's what they could name the uh, new uh, Left for Dead tie-in. Just call it Left for Death. Not Only even Left for Dead. Yeah. Just don't even dodge it. Just own up to it. Or Left Three Dead. Ooh. Mm. Just got us there. Oh well, that's actually kind of appropriate because well, this isn't a spoiler, but one of the characters did die from the original Left for Dead. Although it really would really just be Left Left Seven Dead, I guess. Okay, well... Oh, he just left one dead. Okay, we're going off topic now. Not even. Yeehaw. Anyways, I don't know if this really counted as a short show, like I said at the beginning, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, one we hour thought, we thought and seven minutes. Yeah. At this point, yeah. Eventful. That's Fun. minutes shorter than most of ours, so why don't we, well, why don't we say goodbye? Same. All right. Yeah, sure. All right, well, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Check Sorry out the if we were to... Yep. Uh, yeah, check out our subreddit, our payday crime cast. It's getting kind of dead there. Please don't let it die. Also, uh, ask questions that are not really like obvious stuff that we will talk about anyway. Yeah. Make be unique is what we're saying here. Because All we right. will read out your question. Um, yes, yeah. take our condescending advice to your heart, right to the center and your heart. brain, please. Thank you for tuning in, and a happy Valentine's Day to you all. Of course. And see ya. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>